Things are starting to look real creepy in Florida. We're seeing eerie videos of black SUVs driving around neighborhoods with megaphones urging people to leave immediately. We're seeing traffic cam footage of the roads out of Tampa Bay just stacked while the way in almost empty. As you can see, people have turned this into a lane and that into a lane. And that's an 18 wheeler on the shoulder, you guys. That is this is the view in Tampa, Florida right now as miles and miles of gridlock has traffic at a near standstill and people are using every possible section of road to flee Hurricane Milton. Millions of people are now under mandatory evacuations in Florida and the process of getting that many people out before Milton strikes, not an easy task. This is Interstate 75 north of Tampa. It is the main route out of those evacuation zones. Every single lane has really been bumper to bumper for days now. It's unlikely that traffic will let up here in the next 24 hours ahead of the storm. You can see this line of cars. Let me step out of the way. This is going for miles and no one is moving. We were on this very road from Pinellas to Hillsborough with the bridge that connects it yesterday jammed for miles. Took us an hour and a half just to get back to Tampa. In the days of Exodus, when you read the story, you'll see that the Pharaoh's magicians, they could do enchantments and they can do certain things. But a day came where God showed up and showed out. And we're in a similar stage right now in this world. We're hours away from impact. And the plans of the fallen are the plans of the fallen. Are they manipulating the weather? Is weather being altered and manipulated? Are we at a stage that this has gotten out of hand and now they're at a stage where now they can't even control it, like what happened in Dubai. They were doing cloud seeding for years, and then it came out of control. And in one day, one day, they got more rain than they had in 75 years. The plans of the fallen will be the plans of the fallen. But my brother, my sister in the Lord, I just want to remind you today from one brother to another that the spirit of fear is not your friend. It's definitely not your friend. The scriptures tell us, fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness in Isaiah 41.10. Listen, folks, I'm not saying to be naive and stay in flood zones or stay in an area where you know that it's flood prone, right? But here's the thing. If you look at I-95 right now, even if you look at I-4 in certain spots, it's clogged up. You have families there that didn't need to necessarily evacuate that are taking up the highway from those that truly need to evacuate. And you have lines upon lines of cars now, no gas, no food, no shelter, no hotels, but the spirit of fear took over and now they're operating illogically and it puts you in a position that now, now what are you gonna do with the storm approaching and the countdown is here? Folks, listen, difficult times are coming upon us. Difficult times are coming upon us and we have to use wisdom. I am not saying not to use wisdom. I am as prepared as you can possibly be, but you have to really take a lot of things in consideration. Number one, in my case, I have to be a leader in my home. I have to bring pre peace to the house. I'm always being optimistic. I'm reading the scriptures, talking about how awesome God is, reminding them that in the days of Noah, when floods and rains came, there was one who was with Noah because Noah was obedient. Reminding them that when David had to fight Goliath, he first had to go through the bear. He also had to go through the lion. And those tests prepared him for that final exam. Reminding them that when God had to show up and show out with the plagues of Egypt. Reminding them of who God is in the midst of our difficulties. And reminding them that the only one that we need to fear is the Lord. The fallen angels, the entities that be, 
the manipulated weather events, all of these things that happen. One of these days when Babylon begins to fall, on that day, many people will see, will see the true power of God unleashed on this earth because judgment is definitely coming. And I urge you, my brothers, my sisters in the Lord to, yes, prepare. Absolutely. I'm prepared to the best of my ability. You know, I went to the ATM. I got 40, 50 bucks in cash just in case I have to buy something cash. I got some Vienna sausages, which I already had some Jeff Bardis, the basics. Listen, you have to also use wisdom here in an economic difficulty where we're all struggling. What are you going to do? Spend all of your money buying things like I saw people buying Tostino's pizza. What are you, what, where are you going to microwave it with no power? <laughs> you know, you have to use wisdom. You have to use wisdom because the hurricane's going to pass and then you're going to be stuck in a position that financially it's going to be really, really, really difficult. So use wisdom. Use wisdom. You know, I'm also prepared because whenever uh, outages come in this area, um, we'll be without power for about a week or two. Easy. So I have to stay up at nighttime, watch over the family because there's no power and I live in the boonies and... I believe Jesus Christ will protect our family. I believe God has angels guarding our home. And I also believe God gives us wisdom. And if someone does indeed have to come in, uh, we're not going to greet him with Joel Osteen and Hillsong, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's going to have to do what we got to do. But what I'm saying is, is that in all of these things, we must have the peace of Jesus in our hearts, in our minds, in our soul. Because then you can radiate that to others. And you can let others know that it's going to be okay. I feel the stress. feel the difficulties. I know we're going to get Cat 2 hurricane winds and where we're at. And I know that it's going to be really intense. But you know what? You and I have Jesus Christ. You and I have the one that calms the storms. You and I have the one who is everlasting, who has already won. You and I have the one that the scriptures say that when you're tempted, he also makes a way of escape. You and I have the one that says that the angel of the Lord encampeth around them that fear them fear and delivereth them. You and I have the one who is our rock. The Lord is my rock. In him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower, my refuge, my savior who saves me from violence, Second Samuel. So we know who we have. This is why I've done everything I possibly can just to hunker down. We're not even getting out of the house looking for trouble. Everyone out there is panicking. Everyone's acting in a really, really difficult way. And you also have to remember that this is prep work here because this is just a hurricane. Imagine when the economic collapse happens. Imagine when fearful sights in the heaven, when these entities, these fallen angels, when they start appearing, there's no love in the land. The harvest is plentiful but the laborers are few. During this hurricane, during this storm, I want you to stay ready. I want you to stay prepared. I want you to be a light in your house. I'm staying home for various reasons. If I decide to take my family and say, let's get on I-95 and start driving, what's the point? Now my daughter's autistic. I'm gonna get her stressed, all right? My wife has a couple of issues going on, right? I haven't been feeling too well myself, right? It's going to put us in an economic situation that's not favorable, right? Plus, on top of that, I would rather leave those highways empty for those that really need to evacuate that are on the coast. You have to think of others more than yourself. Okay, so we'll stay here. We'll get prepared. We're already mentally ready here. All right, what does that mean, mentally ready? We're reading the scriptures. We're talking about God. We're believing that Jesus Christ is awesome. And we're talking about what's going to happen in the days after so that we're prepared so when the test comes, we pass it in the name of Jesus Christ. God is awesome. God loves you. God loves you. And thank you guys for being there as brothers and sisters in the Lord. Um, this is probably the last broadcast for about a week because when hurricanes hit, um, outages do happen. But... Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet subscribed. I'll, for my phone, if I have, even if I don't have power for my phone, I should be able to upload shorts and update you on how everything is going. And um, keep us in prayer. Keep all of the people that are suffering in prayer. Keep a lot of Floridians in prayer. It's very easy to tell people 
evacuate, evacuate, evacuate. But the problem is, is that most of these people can't even make it. Where are we going to evacuate? The Dollar Tree? Family Dollar? Where are you going to... The Dollar, you know, Dollar General? Most of these people can't afford groceries and just had Helene come. Now you have this one coming. There's another one possibly coming. It's not easy. It's not easy. We pray for those that are on I-95. We pray for those that are stuck right now. We pray for those families that are really thinking um, this through and, and are going through it. The spirit of fear is not easy when it takes over your home, but it is an entity that is defeated in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't allow it to make you think illogically here. The hurricane's going to come and it's going to pass. And the illogical decisions you make now will affect your family later. It's much better for you to hunker down, stay put, okay? Stay put, use wisdom. Like I said, I'm at nighttime. I'm going to stay up all night protecting my house, right? Use wisdom. But then you take the course of action that's necessary when everything passes. Then you can actually make a better decision of saying, okay, let me find a place to stay. Okay, let me do reconnaissance around the house. Okay, let me help my neighbors and my friends. But operate with the wisdom of Jesus Christ. Um, he loves you. He cares for you. And uh, this isn't about showing off that, oh, I'm tough and bravo staying. No. What I'm saying is that some people need to evacuate. Consider those people above you that's just panicking for panicking. Let the roads available for those people that need to escape. And um, use wisdom. Use wisdom. If you live in Central Florida, okay, and you're going to go through a difficulty and you're struggling and you're going through something rough, after the hurricane passes, email me at brotherneptali.gmail.com. If I have to go over and help you out, pick up stuff, and, um, you know, whatever we can to help each other out, you know, we'll help each other out in the name of Jesus Christ. Just um, be encouraged um, and use wisdom. If you're like me and um, and you have to use wisdom, don't, don't spend your financial resources and and panicking now your storm is going to pass you can make better decisions then right now if you're going to have fear have the fear of the lord because they can manipulate weather they can use harp they can use many different things but that's just like the pharaoh's magicians you want to see real power that power comes from above the holy spirit power the power that only he can give that peace, that supernatural peace that no storm can take away. Heavenly Father, my brothers and my sisters and the Lord, thank you for all of them that have been worried. Thank you for all of them that are writing in, checking up on us. Thank you for the many people that are offering for us to leave and go to their homes and, and be with them. Father, thank you for all of them. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for all of the people that are on the coast, all of the people that are going through panic attacks, that are going through extreme anxiety right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for all of them. Give them encouragement, Heavenly Father, so that they can be in a position that they can encourage others. Heavenly Father, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for this lesson that you're about to bring to Florida. May we not just let this lesson pass and us not learn from it. Oh, because there's a lesson to be learned in everything. If this is how society is acting over a hurricane, imagine when something else does happen. Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you for this hurricane. Thank you for all of the things that come. Thank you for whatever happens, because at the end of the day, you're sovereign, you're God, you're still in control, you have already won, and you know the beginning, you know the end, and you will be with us in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you guys, all right? If anything happens, I'll update you guys via shorts on the channel because it's kind of hard to make videos when this is happening. We do have a second channel. I'll put the link on the screen. This is our daily devotional channel. It's like an encouragement channel. We have live services on there. The live services on Wednesdays and Saturday this week, I'm gonna cancel them because I have to be a father and I have to be a leader at the house with the family. Um, but I do have a lot of videos scheduled to be uploaded on there already. So even if we don't have power, there'll be daily content on that channel. So subscribe there. The video is going to pop up on the screen. All right. That's our second uh, channel. And God bless you. I love you guys. Um, uh, thanks for considering supporting this ministry. Um, thanks um, for, for praying for us. And um, I'll, I'll keep you all updated. Subscribe. All right. God bless you guys. See you shortly when this passes.